Good morning children. Today in this module you will learn about chapter 1 in biology the leaf. It is not only about the leaf it is about the flowering plant. You take any plant the different parts which are present in the plant. There are two systems the root system and the shoot system. The plant has the shoot system above the soil whereas the root system inside the soil. So let us study about this flowering plant in this chapter. The parts of a plant. First let us study about the root system. What is a root? The underground part of a plant is called the root. That is, the part of the plant which remains inside the soil is known as the root. So what are the characteristics of this root? This root will always grow downward inside the soil towards the force of gravity. That is, it will not come up above the soil. It will always go inside the soil away from sunlight. So you will never see any root growing into the sunlight. Mostly all the roots they grow inside the soil towards the force of gravity and they absorb water from the soil for the plant. Another characteristic of the root is that it has a main primary root with many side branches. You will study about the different types of root system. First, we have the taproot system and the fibrous root system. So let us study about the taproot system. All of you must have eaten the carrot or the radish or the turnip or the beetroot. What is that? The carrot stores food, the radish also stores food. These are the main roots that you see and they belong to the taproot system. Now the taproot system has a thick main root which is called the primary root. Now this primary root bears many side branches which are called the secondary roots. In the first figure you see the main part the main root which is coming down is known as the primary root. Now there are secondary branches coming out from the primary roots which are known as the secondary roots. Now again these secondary roots are branched into smaller very thin branches which are known as the tertiary roots. The end portions of the root bear very fine hair like projections which are known as the root hairs. These root hairs may be visible to our eyes or maybe you cannot see it. The examples of the tap root system are the gram, the peas, lentil, mustard etc. That is all the dicotyledonous plants they have a tap root system. See the second figure. This is the coriander leaf that you see. It's a coriander plant. Can you see the main root which is the primary root which is branched into the secondary roots. So coriander is also a dicot plant. Next the fibrous root system. In the fibrous root system, you will find a cluster of root of the same thickness and size arising from the base of the stem. In the fibrous root system, you will never find a main primary root. It is absent. Instead of that, you will find a cluster of root coming out just from the base of the stem having the same thickness and the size. So this type of root system is known as the 
fibrous root system and you will find this fibrous root system in all the monocot plants see the first figure as well as the second figure in the first figure this is the root that you see of the maize plant from the base of the stem you can understand that the roots are all coming out and they are of the same size maybe they have branches but the roots are coming out just from the base of the stem without any primary root see the figure second figure in which you will find the grass from the base of the stem you find that all the roots are coming out having the same shape and size and thickness so all the monocotyledonous plants have this type of root system example the maize grass wheat paddy etc functions of the root system now what are the functions of the root the first function the root fixes the plant to the soil without the root the plant will not stand straight up on the soil so the main function of the root is to fix the plant to the soil second it absorbs water and minerals from the soil the plants they prepare their own food so they need the water and minerals from where do the plants get this water and minerals they get it from the soil so here comes the function of the root the roots absorb the water and minerals which is present in the soil and make it available to the plant for preparing the food the third function of the root system is that it binds the soil together and prevents soil erosion that is if you find a number of trees or plants growing in any region then the soil erosion of that area will be less rather than the desert areas because the roots they hold the soil together they bind the soil together and they do not allow the water or even the wind to take away the topmost soil that is it prevents soil erosion so this is the root system that you have studied today